So there was a pretty good slate of games last night. Starting with the Lakers versus the Pelicans, it was a highly anticipated matchup. We're going to look at some things that happened last night. Ooh. Starting with LeBron James versus Zion Williamson. This was a pretty big deal, was it not? I love how everybody sort of built this as like the washed king, 35-year-old King James against the 19-year-old Zion Williamson. Of course, that's what everybody came to watch. But yo, the Pelicans are sneaking up to an eighth seed. So this just wasn't like a gimmick game of Zion versus LeBron. The Pelicans are trying to play some good hoops to get into the playoffs to take on the Lakers in the first round of said playoffs. Could LeBron you, didn't want that to happen, though. Could you imagine, though, that first round series of Zion Williamson versus LeBron James? I mean, is it a big deal? Is it really as yes. big of a deal as we're making it? It would be amazing to see Zion versus LeBron. As it sits right there, though, LeBron said, no, 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 this ain't a that, big deal. Matter of fact, it's such not a big deal. Why don't you go ahead and hand me those Twizzlers? They're not even a good candy. I don't care if it's a red vine, if it's a Twizzler. It was a red vine. Regardless. Um, it was sorry. a red vine. Both of them. Trash. Twizzlers are bomb. LeBron trying to make a scene, eating red vines and Twizzlers. That's, come on, LeBron, you're LeBron. Don't be eating that food. That's like bottom of the shelf at the movie theater food. Come on. What, what's your go-to thing at the movie theater then? I like Milk Duds. <laughs> really? Yeah, I'm, I'm a Milk Duds guy. You cannot be talking, and that's like the <laughs> bottom. I've never had Milk Duds in my about? entire life. In my entire milk, life, I've never had Milk Duds. Milk Duds get stuck in your teeth way too much. It's not, no, it's not, I'm not with it. Y'all hating. But Twizzlers are bomb. Uh, I did want to ask a question. Zion Williamson, 19 years old, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Gary, what were you doing when you were 19? Oh, dang. Uh, what was I doing, man? I was living at home. I had a couple roommates, uh, my mom and my dad. Um, <laughs> and my, I had three roommates, my mom, my dad, and my sister. Um, and I was, I was stacking bread literally every single day, mainly because I was a bank teller. I was counting money. Uh, I was counting I money every day. Sandwiches. That wasn't mine. Yeah. I was just handing it to people. I was a teller at US Bank. Shout out to US Bank. I was making 10 50 an hour back in the day. That was That's cake. Sick. That's real. And good. I didn't even have to pay rent. It was pretty sick. Well, <laughs> I, Omar, I, I, I was trying to do you? the highlights thing on Instagram. I was trying to post all these highlights on Instagram. But what I was really doing was I was posting YouTube videos on like Madden and being like, hey, if you guys want to be good at Madden, try audibling, audibling to a run play. And it would get a thousand views, and then nobody would watch it. And I thought I'd be a YouTube superstar, but it never really panned out. And look so. at you now, two years later, you're doing hoops, right? Yeah. Ain't that it's insane. only been two. He's 21. Ain't uh, that insane? <laughs> what about you? Don't be a grill. Yeah. Um, what were you doing 19, three years ago? When I was 19, three years ago, you're right. Uh, I was playing volleyball at University of Miami. Go Canes. Oh, sick. I All right. Volleyball. <laughs> Looks like I, I was the only one getting I, money. I, I for University of Miami, though. <laughs> yes, I told you this before. He doesn't okay. listen to anything I say. All right, let's talk about uh, Alex Caruso versus Lonzo Ball, because this is absolutely embarrassing. Oh, I, I just think, listen, he's one of the most underrated players when it comes to highlights, and I'm biased because at this game, he said to me, what up, Omar, after the game? So, I'm Wait. a little biased. At this game? Oh, no, the game before. My oh, bad. I on was Sunday. Like, you were there Sunday. last night. I apologize. Here. But listen, he, I think he's the best player for the Lakers coming off the bench. Seriously, I, I wouldn't go Rondo off the bench. I would go Caruso first. He was one of the thousand people watching you on YouTube. He was like, dude, Omar yeah. told me to audible, and yeah. I'm going to audible. I just won. Um, and realistically, this dude's awesome. He had a plus 20 last night. Yeah. Nobody on the Lakers had a better plus minus than him, obviously, coming off the bench. But every single time he is on the court, and you can already tell LeBron James trusts him, whether the chemistry is, you know, the through the legs, uh, the, the follow dunk. As he goes, so do the Lakers, which is incredible to say, yeah. right? Because it's LeBron, it's Anthony Davis, but don't sleep on Crusoe. They don't miss a beat when he's on the court. And it's crazy to think, because not just offensively, but this dude brings a presence on the defensive yeah, and yeah. disrespecting uh, Lonzo Ball. Ball. That's like sort of that grit, that Texas grit that the team doesn't have, because it's all LA, it's Hollywood, it's stars, it's famous. But then you got the Aggie. Alex Caruso coming off the bench eating. What do you think of the headband? Does it make sense when you have that type of hairline to have a headband? Oh, wow. Yeah, I think it's sexy. I mean, I feel like if you're bald, personally as a bald person, I feel like if you're bald, that's what you need to keep the sweat out of your face. You speak from experience? Oh. Yeah, that's exactly that's exactly why you put it. That's I didn't know there was a old. technical use to headbands. <laughs> Yo, I'm learning today, bro. <laughs> that headband. It's to keep the sweat out your face. That headband is screaming for more fabric, though, because that sucker is tight. Like, it's suffocating <laughs> his brain, like, for real. He's like... Oh, I need more oxygen, but I like the look. I do okay. like the look. I think it's fire. And you, our boss, Mike Foss, he went down this this rabbit, rabbit hole. hole. This it, it seemed like a Reddit rabbit hole that like he's channeling this evil, this evil person, right? Because he turns the it backwards, the logo's in the back, and he was like referencing 
He was nerding evil, out, basically. Evil superpowers and there comic books. Yeah, yeah. It was terrifying. To Apparently, me. Was saying that, superheroes, yeah. when they wear their suits backwards, it means they are evil, and that's what Alex Caruso was doing, especially in that play against Lonzo Ball. We got to get to Raptors Bucks. Let's go. Okay. I brought these for the mascot, you know what I'm saying? They can't disrespect them. Right? We have our own belts, too. Set the wizards, baby. Just save the wizards, baby. Uh, we were talking about this a little bit. I know you love Drake. It's your favorite. Uh, but I also... He's lame. <laughs> but he's no, cool. No, I'm going to take over then. <laughs> I'm going to take over then. He's, because he's we lame. talked about this. I'm going to try on my hoarse voice. We're tired of the Bucks doing the WWE thing. Oh, yeah, and Drake saw the video against the Wizards where he's like, you know what? This is so, like, over the top. Uh -huh, uh -huh. We're done with it. So Drake, it was a smart guy. He had his two security guards, so that was kind of lame. But other than that, <laughs> the whole execution with all the belts, he had a belt for the mascot as well. Uh -huh. He was like, this ain't the Wizards. Robin Lopez, you're not going to do nothing. And nothing <laughs> happened. He Hold was on. generous. And we got a better video. <laughs> Compared to all the out. bad videos Time we've got the last two months. <laughs> what was the result of the game? The, Bucks the, Raptors, won. the Raptors took an L at home. Yeah, That's yeah. fine. So Drake needs to pick and choose his spots. I love Drake just as much as you. Well, not just as much as you. I you said you that, that you would sacrifice my hands yeah. for one day of friendship with no, Drake. No, so, no, no. I appreciate that. <laughs> complete, I, 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 I said complete oh, lifetime. Hey, that's good I'd be a lifetime <laughs> friend. Basically, lifetime I said, friend. that's fine, Omar, because I'd get super duper good at soccer. None of those dudes use their In hands. In one day? Go ahead and take my hands, <laughs> playboy. That's all good. I got feet and legs. But what I'm trying to say is Drake needs to pick his spots. When he was telling one of the low press brothers, Brothers, I still get him confused. Mm -hmm. This ain't the Wizards. Robin. He needs to be looking at the mirror because the Raptors, this ain't the Wizards, bro. These are the Bucks who have lost eight times all year, only five times on the road. They're blowing out teams by 12 and a half points everywhere they go. Pick and choose your battles. I know this was the Eastern Conference Finals rematch, mm -hmm. but like. But who won last year? Exactly. That's the thing. The Bucks <laughs> have that taste in their mouth. You think Giannis is going to let that happen again? Hell no. All I'm saying that. is when it comes playoff time, I guarantee you if Drake comes chirping in the hallways, yeah. his boy Lowry's going to be like, hey, hey bro, <laughs> you got to chill, bro. Just like, just like chill. Just please stop it. Just please stop. Uh, yes. <laughs> I promise of, you. Robin of, Lopez is going to end our careers. Speaking of Kyle Lowry, what the heck is this This was man amazing. Because I honestly, I truly, uh, I truly I, cannot imagine what was going through his mind the, when he decided to do this. Nick Nurse knew exactly what he was trying to do. <laughs> the thing He's is, like, he, wow. th he thought he was like 5'8", like when Nate Robinson did that. Did like, George Hill is just as tall as you, Kyle Lowry. Because what are you doing? George Hill is 6'3", Kyle Lowry is 6 foot. When Nate Robinson like, did that, Look at George Hill's seven, face, like, what are you eight. doing, bro? It, like, it what are you no trying sense. to do? It made absolutely sense. Bro, stand no up, sense. stand up. All right, I'm 5'8". <laughs> stand up, but like, play a defensive position. I feel like I'm, I'm six foot. Doing? <laughs> what? <laughs> execution. That actually was really good. Yeah, I, know. I feel like if it was executed so like that. All I'm, it trying to, all I'm trying to say is that's not as crazy as people want to make it sound it like. It looked on the awful. <laughs> we're on the internet every day, and that's the thing that we're going to complain about. Kyle Lowry just trying to make a move between George Hill's legs. Are you kidding me? That was incredible. No, what you just did was incredible. That, that was hey, incredible. Real talk, that was kind of smooth. Yeah. <laughs> I, could, I was like, I don't know where this is going, hey, man. That was, that was not playing that. This is also the guy who took an unprecedented, not one, but two charges in an all-star game. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we should yeah. expect this Can sort of gamesmanship from Kyle Lowry. I applaud you, sir, but check the tape and do it like me next time. <laughs> it has been done before, but the question is, Kyle Lowry, who the heck do you think you are? Kyle Lowry. <laughs> <laughs> That's who. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.